broadcasting from Ventures, Kuwait. This is the Me and Larry reality video show, LTL, editorial news for January 18, 2010, with the loose end news. I know uh, now, of course, we have still the Taliban's attacking in Afghanistan, the, the capital, once again. That's no new news. They're always going to repeat that. They want to gain foothold to it. So that's one thing. Haiti, you know our thoughts and prayers on that. But one thing I want to pick up on is the Somalia Pirates. Not the Pittsburgh Pirates of baseball, which people uh, watch baseball in America. Not the East Carolina P Pirates who of, uh, of college in uh, Carolina. But we're talking about Somalia. Well, really, they, they are not uh, residing in Somalia. They broke off. Because really, so Somalia, uh, they, may, they are considered to be Muslim, majority of them, but they are not uh, fall in line with the Somalia pirates who end up um, inhabiting the uh, island. This is a territory for, guess who? Yemen. Yes, Yemen. And um, Yemen uh, saying that they are a threat to the, uh, for pirates to aid and embed criminal activities there? No. Let's just say um, they get motivated to do things which is very criminal and that is uh, to hijack uh, ships, tankers, boats for any country in the world and receive big money. Uh, 2008, 50 million dollars. Last year, I think they double, double it. Even though um, they were trying to hijack an American uh, tanker, and you know America wasn't going to go down for that. And you know the Navy SEALs came over there, and and uh, they was able to free the American captain. And I uh, gave, hey, they, they put some bullets in some, uh, some of those hijackers, and then uh, only for them to be floating in the sea and be ate up by sharks. And maybe that would be a good idea. Uh, maybe Israel was trying to do that, but of course you in inhabiting uh, the area of where Yemen and other Muslim area is or air country is and they may be saying what is uh, Israel doing Israel don't need to be over there get your behind back over there we can take care of it yeah you you are you let them just run fleety and then if any uh, ship or tanker come along they get hijacked even though Saudi Arabia uh, tanker got hijacked and they was oh they received big money just uh, last night, late breaking word that they received seven to nine million dollars. Yeah, and they they make it, they rolling. Hey, they they balling. In America, you could call it balling. They balling. They making the jack because if they're gonna have a way of living, that's what they doing. So the thing is, they are considered to be king of the sea. So, what is it to be in the king of the sea? To hijack any boat that they want to, any oil vessel, tankers, and then to hold it a ransom? And everybody in the world knows how uh, about them, how criminal they be doing, and then they don't have nothing to, uh, they can't do nothing against them? 
you make it them by a, a bigger threat than the Taliban's. So, thing is, somebody got to control that uh, sea over there. Maybe the sea of Eden or wherever they are really doing the hijacking at, they need to uh, stop it and stop those idiots. They're taking over. They're making some huge jack. Man, they're making more jack than uh, Bernard uh, Madoff in his stocks. So, being the king of the sea uh, does come with a price, but one day they will pay for that price because what's happening is I guess you're going to have rival Rival gangs maybe fighting over the ransom money. Player hating. But anyway, that's what's going down. And I'll be back about the Yemen cleric who is a Tony Robbins of motivation. Coming up next on the LTL Editorial News.